You also have an amazing sidekick named Eagle, who is literally a bald eagle. Does he fight with you or is he just for companionship? My friend, you need a re-education in freedom. He's not a sidekick, he's not a mascot, he's my best friend. Hello, Peacemaker. David, you son of a ball busting mustard gobbler. Of course. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Oh, no. Thank you for the time. I appreciate it. Should I call you Peacemaker, Christopher, or Mr. Smith? I would stick with Peacemaker because I'm going to make him peace, not Smiths. How would you describe yourself to someone who has never heard of Peacemaker? Peacemaker is easy to describe. Think of the greatest human creation. Uh, Peacemaker is better than that. Jamil, you, you cool? What does that mean? Truth is, I'm supposed to be in prison. For what? Superhero stuff. What superhero are you? Peacemaker. Get out of here! There's no superhero called Peacemaker! Dude, I'm famous! You're a born killer with expertise in every weapon known to humankind. I'm giving you the chance to stay out of prison and work for me. Kill people. Bad people. Wow, and very modest, too. Your words, your words, David. What would you say is the biggest misconception about Peacemaker? Uh, the biggest misconception is the mixed opinions about Peacemaker. Um, it, Peacemaker is the one is the one superhero in my mind that is a true superhero. And uh, Peacemaker should be universally loved by all peoples because all of us love peace. But you've called yourself a superhero and, and there are many superheroes and supervillains and fantastical creatures out there. But what would you say sets you apart from them? Supervillains, yes. Fantastical creatures, yes. Superheroes, no. There are some lame dudes and gals in weird costumes. Peacemaker's the only guy who can wear a costume like this, blue leatherette gloves, and have to check his sidearm in at the door and can still kick some ass when called upon. And speaking of that, you are very skilled at eliminating opponents with both weapons and random non-lethal objects. What is the most creative way you've conquered an enemy? Well, that's easy. Uh, so I was stuck on a rooftop with my compatriots from the Suicide Squad, and I had to eat uh, 35 empanadas. This is a well-known fact. And the most creative way uh, my opponents have met their demise is by being stuck in a van with me after I've eaten 30 empanadas. <laughs> Beef or chicken? <laughs> it depends on your palate. I would like to, I mean, I, I, would le I would leave that up to the jury, but none of them survived. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you also have an amazing sidekick named Eagly, who is literally a bald eagle. Does he fight with you or is he just for companionship? If you're asking me open-ended questions about what is the deal with a bald eagle, my friend, you need a re-education in freedom. Eagle is my best friend. Oh my God, he's, he's hugging me. He's hugging me. Dad, grab my phone, I don't wanna move. I'm not at peace with myself enough, pun intended to use the L word, but we really enjoy each other. I love that. I love, uh, hey, I love hey, a bro hey, man. Hey, 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 easy, easy. It's easy, you gotta earn that, all right? <laughs> okay, fair. Sorry. So you're obviously someone who takes care of himself, right down to the smallest of muscle groups, and I'm looking to get into better shape. What kind of advice can you give me? Oh yeah, yeah, that's easy. Um, be somebody else, uh, get a little taller, change your whole face, and uh, yeah, that's it. Wow, oh, okay, well, I got a long way to go then. Um, your new show, Peacemaker, opens with an incredible theme song entitled, Do You Want to Taste It? Do you have yes. any personal favorite TV show theme songs? Oh my God, great question. Yes, yeah, so my favorite of all time is Peacemaker, Do You Want to Taste It? Ah, so not like Growing Pains or anything like that. Growing Pains? Yeah. Yeah, the only Growing Pains I have are when I get excited, all right? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, it's very subtle. <laughs> You're clearly someone who appreciates good music. What does your pre-mission playlist look like? Uh, most of the classics, uh, 80s ballads, Poison, Crew, Whitesnake, GNR, Def Leppard, Cinderella. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good list right there. 
I'm a guy who likes extreme more than words. That's kind of my ballad. And it's my go-to karaoke song. It's actually a great idea. I never even thought of that. Extreme more than words. Yeah, definitely. Of course. I would throw in there a little skid row as well. Nothing wrong with 18 in life. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I'd, I'd also be remiss to not mention your incredible dance skills. Do you take inspiration from anyone in particular or do you just let the music move you? Yeah, it's more of an interpretive dance because I uh, you know I'm like wicked awesome and stuff. So it's not like anybody's going to make fun of me because I'm dancing and uh, just kind of let the let the music tell me what to do. Considering your career as a highly trained killer, is there anything about you that might surprise fans like odd hobbies, favorite pastimes and usual collections? I think there's always some surprises with Peacemaker. Whether it's my extensive, extensive collection of pogs or um, uh, my lifelong personal feud with the show Growing Pains, I think that there's a lot of things that would surprise fans out there about Peacemaker. You've got a beef with Mike Seaver? <laughs> Your words. Your words. <laughs> People have poked fun at your helmet, even going as far as to call it a toilet seat. But you actually have a variety of very functional helmets. Can you tell me a little bit about that? I have a list of everyone who makes fun of my helmet. And uh, I have varying helmets that have varying abilities. So uh, when an ability matches what I think can um, re-educate one of those folks that might have said something bad about one of my helmets, I kind of line the stars up and they are crossed off the list. Can you give me uh, one of your more creative helmets? No, it's classified information. I can't. I can, I can tell you that you can look for a lot of variations. It's like, a, it's like watching college football, a lot of alternate helmets. <laughs> Great. And uh, wrapping it up, what can we look forward to in season one of Peacekeeper? Um, wait, Peacemaker? Uh, yeah, yeah, you're going to murder me. <laughs> no, you know, that's fine. Honestly, everybody gets one. And you could have called me Pissmaker. So Peacekeeper, <laughs> I'm going to take Peacekeeper. That's fine, because I, I am a keeper of the peace. Right. Do you want to settle yourself? Maybe try again on that question? I'm going to give it another shot. Yeah. What can we look forward to in season one of Peacemaker? Will we learn how you became this bone-crushing beacon of freedom you are today? Peacemaker is an awesome series on HBO Max. And I am a bit braggadocious, but I think my favorite part about Peacemaker is getting to know Peacemaker's team. Uh, there's a lot of, of, of really cool folks doing really cool stuff. And I think behind it all is James Gunn. So in a very serious note, as we've had some fun here on this interview, um, I, don't, I don't think anyone's ready for Peacemaker, but I am really excited to see what they have to say after they watch it on HBO Max. I can't wait. I can't wait for more of you. I can't wait for more of Eagly. I'm so ready. Thank you so much, Peacekeeper. Peacemaker, damn it. Only <laughs> <laughs> counterpoint, you've won this round. Until next time. <laughs> Thanks, Peacemaker. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a guy named Peacemaker? No. He is a trained killer. We've got trouble with that maniac. <laughs> Go! What are you waiting for? That thing better not crap back there. Yeah, how strain an eagle, dude. Not without stealing its soul. This task force doesn't officially exist, which leaves us on our own. We call our targets butterflies. They are a serious threat to the safety of American citizens. Hey, there's something weird going on. You think me and Vigilante are too stupid to notice. Hey, everyone, which one's me and which one's Eagly? OK, you're half right, but you score 50% on the test at school. What do you get? A D. Uh, uh, school is my bag. It's for dorks. <laughs> You haven't been shot at? No.